Well, hello and good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever it is you're watching this video. Welcome to Bluebird Cherubine Teals. My name's Ray Smith. And first of all, I'd like to thank all those great people who have subscribed to my channel already in such a short space of time. I really sincerely do appreciate that you're taking the time to follow an old fool like me trying to live his dream. Anyway, guys, today is episode two of the continuing conversion of Bluebird Cherubang. Now, today, somewhat different, I'm working inside, basically, and I have two little jobs I want to try and get done today. Okay, one, first of all, is up here sorry about that guys not quite used to this videoing there is an art to it apparently <laughs> which i haven't cracked yet anyway here we go guys so it's this if it can be seen i'll video it properly it's the radio but in the bus here as well as the radio on the top we also have and just give me a minute while i switch the camera around so as I was saying guys, here we have our job for today. It's the radio, old radio is coming out, but attach the old radio in the top here, if you can see it in this sort of shadow, is a tachograph as well. So discovery the tachograph is sort of attached to the radio fitting. So I'm going to take it out today. So I've, I've seen on YouTube, I've purchased these little removal tools okay these are the upgraded ones with the little plastic handles instead of those ones you see with the all sort of metal which i don't feel are very strong so i'm going to do my best to try and record the removal which is very simple okay so it's simply a question of inserting and you insert with the little sort of cut out towards the inside of the radio in here and there's the first click and it looks as if that's the only click so I hope I have it in right I certainly watched the video and that's the way they did it so <laughs> here goes nothing second one hmm not so sure not seem to want to click so maybe guys that is the wrong way okay we'll try the top now you see that sounds more like what it should be but that bottom one hasn't and sorry guys I'm sort of all over the place here that one's clicked. This one doesn't seem to want to click. Let's try it again. And that looks like maybe that's it. Now this is a difficult bit. Trying to remove it. Well fill a minute. There we go guys, yep, just as it did in the videos. There we go. So, sorry that was a bit shaky. Okay, um, certainly go into YouTube and if you type in removing VT Volkswagen T5 radio, I think you'll find a, probably a better video than mine on doing it, but just to show that it does actually work. So, just gonna stop for the moment and get myself a screwdriver or whatever I need to help release the tachograph on the guys. So, uh, taking the radio out, as you can see, still figuring out, might have to take the fascia off here to get it the tachograph, uh, so radio. Ah, my radio wasn't working. And of course, as I'm discovering, something simple, little fuse. So, just going to use a multimeter. 
can just about I think see a break but that's a continuity heading on the multimeter and if we touch the other side of the fuse one nothing infinity absolutely nothing dead as a doornail so that's why the radio wasn't working here we go guys um, as I suspected I had to take the whole trim off because the old tachograph is fitted into the trim so just going to separate this up now and here's a nice big blank space for putting my new digital touchscreen head unit or whatever they call them in so that's all for the moment guys um, next job will be I'm going to have another go at these reels I was using an ordinary well not an ordinary but a metal drill but um, I think what it was the drill head was too big so I'm going to use one of those little step drill bits so I can start off drilling the hole small and then make it big enough to take out the bolt heads that are holding these in so that's the plan for today so I will see you later bye now